Hi. Uh, we're doing High Overseer Campbell, the non-lethal stealth walkthrough, um, and going for the Achievement Ghost. Now, if you're just going for the Achievement and you don't care about the ticks at the end of the level, you can actually kill Campbell um, as long as no one else is alerted or is killed. So I've put both options in here for you. Anyway, up here, choke this guy. Um, and then follow this path. There's a few ways through this level, but I think this one is the quickest. Uh, while you're watching this, i just tell you what skills I've got. Dark Vision 1, I think Agility 1, and um, Blink 1, obviously, which comes with it. Um, I'm not picking up any of the runes or any of the bone charms or the painting or the blueprint or anything like that. I've got another walkthrough that shows all those, and I'll link that in the description and possibly annotate it as well. But you head up to the art dealer's house and then blink onto this sign. It's a bit of a tricky blink. Now you need to jump blink across there. So you might want to save before you do that, because jump blinking is quite tricky the first few times you try it. Um, I failed a lot before I got the hang of it. Anyway, uh, you want to head onto that lamppost that you just saw and then across to this rooftop and drop down onto this uh, ventilation duct here. And then you're just going to sneak around. Keep an eye out for guys everywhere, basically. Um, there's a guy there with his back turned, but you can also use Blink to get past them a lot. And unfortunately, I'm sorry, you'll see a lot of dark vision being used here. Uh, I've also sped up, obviously, bits where not much is happening. Um, so come up here, choke this guy free, uh, Martin, or whatever his name is. And then uh, blink your way up here. And stand here a second listening to these guys until you get the non-lethal heretics brand thing pop up like that. Then you can just go quite ballsy through here. He's got his back turned. And then just um, ignore that pop up. Uh, which tells you there are multiple routes, and then just carry on down here. Um, you don't have to be too careful. And then up into this pipe, and aim for a chain. I don't think I kill many people here, maybe two or three. Uh, I would kill, incapacitate. Um, just the guys at towards the end, and a couple of guys on the way. Uh, although more for the second walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, be careful, you've got your uh, skill set up. I'd forgotten I'd changed them. Anyway, through here, uh, drop into this hole here, and then up the other side, and then... Watch out for those two guys there. Through these doors, uh, shut the doors behind you. It's very important. And then take a left here. This guy should have his back turned, so carry on here. This bit is a bit hairy. There's a guy on the stairs here who sometimes stands still for quite a while. Uh, and the other guy that you've just walked past may turn around and come towards you. You see here, he started to walk, so I was like, oh god, what's happening? But if you let this guy walk past you and hide behind that barrier, you can just jump up behind him. Oh, there we go, and run past him. Now, I try to avoid killing guys just because hiding bodies is a pain, and if someone sees them, they set the alarm, more guards turn up, and it's just a bit of a hassle. Anyway, through here and straight to the meeting room on your right. Ignore him. Uh, and then in here, you've got two options. One is to... Uh, switch the glasses if you want to save Martin and kill Campbell. And again, you'll still get the ghost achievement if you kill Campbell. It's not a problem. Um, if you choose to switch the glasses, then wait here. It plays out. It takes forever and ever and ever for them to come out, so I've sped it up to times eight. Uh, they'll faff around for a bit. Um, he'll eventually drink his wine and then choke out. Now, here you want to make sure the doors are closed, uh, because what ha will happen is... Uh, guards will see the body and come running in and generally just be a pain in the bottom. So let these guys fight. Uh, they'll fight the overseer off and then run out through one of the doors, but they'll leave one of the doors open here. So just peep over the edge of where you are here and shut the door behind them. Uh, the other guys, the door should shut automatically. There we go. So drop down, grab the blackmail journal, head up here. Now that it was going to be my way out, but the shutters came down because it's in high alert. Fortunately, one of the guards, you overhear him giving you a bit of a uh, exit route. So when you come along here, we'll have a listen to him. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't. So he tells you that one of the shutters on the second floor is open, and it's actually just along here by the interrogation room, which is very handy indeed. Anyway, you can see the sparks flying, and so you can just leap through that window and make your way out. You probably want to blink down here because the fall's quite high and you might make noise. Um, keep an eye out for guards, but they shouldn't really see you because you've got a wall either side. You might want to blink across this gap here just to make sure those guys don't see you. And uh, watch out here. Then it's just down to the left. Uh, there might be a guy coming towards you, so watch out for him. But you get behind this bin, and then behind these bunkers, watch out for this dude up ahead. Wait for him to clear, and then you're straight through into the backyards. And that's it, job done. Now, if you want to take the non-lethal approach, you'll have to make your way into the archives. Uh, choke out that guy, there's another guy on the stairs, and this guy comes up here. And you'll need to get a key to the execution room. 
at some point. So make sure you choke a guard for that. Fortunately, I was lucky this guy had a key on him. So when I choke him, you'll see there I get the interrogation room key. I don't know why I keep calling it the execution room key. Anyway, jump over there, follow the arrow, read the book that the arrow is pointing to, and that will tell you about the heretic's brand. Then head back to the meeting chamber. Always remember to shut doors behind you. Although here I completely fail to. And this time what you're going to do is uh, spill the glasses so that there's nothing for them to drink. There's a, again a couple of ways to do this. You can either follow them to the secret room, but then you've got to drag Campbell all the way back through a bunch of guards uh, on high alert, and that's kind of a hassle. So what I choose to do, you'll need a couple of sleep guards. Um, one because, here we go, one because um, there's a guy behind you uh, who sometimes turns up because I haven't choked him out. Uh, here he is. So I just sleep dart him while those two are chattering away. He eventually falls over. And then sleep dart Campbell in the face, because where else but the face. Martin will freak out, set the alarm off, and then run away, and he gets away safely, so that's all good. But then drop down, pick up his body, and use blink to get back up there. And then you're going to follow pretty much the same route that you did last time. Just run along here, and then blink from lamp top to lamp top to make your way to the interrogation room, which is fortunately right by the shutter on the way out. Now I take completely the wrong route here. I go in through the far door, actually there's a door underneath me I could have taken. But I go in through here, shut the door behind you, up here, and then you can blink up your way down to that chair because there's a gap up there. Now you can't blink up walls while you're carrying a body, so you have to use this and then jump up and then drop down. Put him in the chair, and then behind you, I should have grabbed this uh, while I had the body on me. <laughs> Door wide open, that was rather foolish. Uh, blink up there, grab the heretic brand off the table here. Jump up here, up here, and over the top. There we go. Drop down and tattoo his pretty little face. Ah! There we go, H for heretic on Campbell. Now, making your way out here from here is a doddle, because you just go through this door and the shutter's right in front of you. I was quite lucky I didn't see any guards. Uh, I guess the one that was patrolling got in the way, but uh, not this way, turn around. And then you're basically following the same route as before. This time I had a guy standing here, so you'll see I blink across, and that makes life a bit easier. Blink's great because it's instantaneous and time slows down a bit. i um, wait for this guy to pass, and then again following the route back, taking me to the backyard. Now, the backyard's super simple. I choke these guys out just because I'm worried they might start patrolling and see me. And I'm not sure if letting them kill those guys will count as a kill. But then it's back up here, run around. You can run here safely, there are no guards around. And you want to make your way up onto this ventilation pipe. Then take a left here, blink your way over here. And I'm just kind of burning through mana. I'm not really making an effort to preserve it because I've got three potions. Uh, blink across there and then jump up onto this uh, little vent and follow it around. You are going to find yourself in this area. So look up and left and you'll see a hanging uh, platform. Turn around and blink onto this ledge. And then you can pretty much just run along here to the room you'll see dead ahead, which has actually got a bunch of goodies in it too if you're collecting money and stuff. Anyway, up in through the window. Take a left, pop out. There's a guy on the roof here, so uh, wait for him to start moving and get behind him, then blink down. If you fall, you will probably make a noise. So choke him out, and then it's just a simple question of blinking across here and cutting across the pipes down to see um, Samuel be your way out. Now, what you want to be careful of, I've mentioned I hate chains in a previous video, and here's a great example of why I hate them. There, <sighs> utter fail. Anyway, uh, fortunately there's an auto save there, so I pick right back up and um, grab the chain yeah, and head all the way down to see Samuel and head your way out. Now, depending on which uh, route you took, you'll either see one tick or two ticks at the end here. But either way, uh, you'll be chasing the ghost mission. So there's two ticks, three bodies found, one alarm rung, chaos low. And the next one here where I let him die, didn't kill anyone, isn't ticked, but you'll still be able to get that to shoot them. Uh, anyway, I hope that was useful. Lots of love. Bye!